The PSP emulation is one of the best emulation to run on a Steam Deck so far, and we can hit 60 FPS almost on every single game. Plus, all games are running at 3 times native resolution, which looks absolutely amazing on the deck. Another great experience is with the cheat feature on the PSP emulator, we can cheat Infinity Health and Infinity Ability. Here are topics that I will cover in this video. Without further delay, let's start in rolling the ball. First, let's install EmuDeck and PSP emulator onto the Steam Deck. The Emu Deck installation is pretty easy. I will quickly explain the installation process here. I will only cover PSP emulator installation in this video. First, we need to switch to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. From desktop mode, use your Firefox internet browser and go to Emu Deck official website. I have the Emu Deck linked in my video description. From this website, we can directly download the Emu Deck installation file. Once it is downloaded, we can click Show in Folder. We need to copy the EmuDeck installation file onto our desktop in order to process this installation. And this is mandatory. Then we can double-click on the EmuDeck installer from the desktop. Click Continue on this pop-up window to confirm this installation. Let's select the custom mode here, which will give us more option to set up the EmuDeck. Then click Continue. I highly recommend to use SD card for your emulation games. Even with E1 type SD card, it works perfect with emu decks. So we will pick SD card as storage here. On this page, obviously we need to select Steam Deck. On this screen, it shows all emulators that are currently supported by emu deck. I will disable all the emulators except for the PSP emulator which is called PPSSPP. Also, I would like to point out that if you already have emulators installed on your Steam Deck, you should disable those emulators on this page. Otherwise, this installation will overwrite your existing emulators. You can always come back to this page and install any emulators that you like later on. Then click Continue. On this page, make sure you turn off the emulators that you have already installed on your Steam Deck. If you forgot doing this, the Emu Deck will overwrite your existing emulator settings. So please keep this in mind. I will only leave PSP emulator on here. Then we can click on continue and move to the next page. On the next couple pages, you can pick any options you like. It's all about your personal tastes for the emulation game. Then just click next. This is the new page that EmuDeck just added, and I think this is really helpful. This page will basically tell us what will be installed and what will be configured on our Steam Deck by this installation. So please make sure you check everything here before you click on the finish button. It is very critical to check here to make sure any of your existing emulators are excluded under the first two columns. If you forget to exclude them, this installation will overwrite your existing emulator setting and configurations. After you make sure everything is correct on this page, then just click the finish button to process the installation. The EmuDeck now start processing all the installation. It will take about 2 minutes to complete everything here. After everything's done, we can click exit. Now we have complete the EmuDeck installation on the Steam Deck. The original EmuDeck installer is now changed to EmuDeck access icon on the desktop. That's all for the EmuDeck installation. After we have EmuDeck and PSP emulator installed on the Steam Deck, we can now start adding some PSP games to the system. All my game ROMs are stored on this external hard drive, so I will plug this external hard drive into the Steam Deck. Now I will copy PSP game ROMs from the external hard drive onto my Steam Deck SD card. Just keep in mind the Steam Deck's SD card cannot be recognized on a Windows PC or a Mac. There are several methods for transferring game ROMs from a PC to a Steam Deck, but for now I will just use this external hard drive. Of course you can download the PSP game ROMs directly from your Steam Deck. As you can see I have 5 PSP game ROMs here. Four of them are in ISO format, and one is in CSO format. 
The CSO format is a compressed version of ISO, so the CSO format will save some extra space for our Steam Deck's SD card or internal SSD. I will show how to convert ISO format ROMs into CSO format in the last chapter of this video. For now, we can just select all the game ROMs from the external hard drive and copy them into the correct folder on your Steam Deck's SD card as shown on the screen. Just double check and make sure your game ROMs are pasted into this folder. This could take a while depending on how many games you are transferring. We can now unplug the external hard drive once the process is complete. So next, I will show how to bring the game into Steam Deck gaming mode. To do this, we need to click the Emu Deck icon on the desktop and then click To and Stuff. From here, we need to select Steam Room Manager. Click Yes for this pop-up window. First, disable the parsers, otherwise the Emu Deck will scan all the game rooms. I recommend only enable the emulators that you are going to use and disable the rest of them. Because this video only covers the PSP emulator, I will only enable the PlayStation Portable PP SSPP under the parsers. Then we can click Save button on the bottom left side. Then we need to click on the Preview button from the top left corner. Then click Generate App List from the bottom of the screen. We can now see all the PSP games that we have copied over show up here. Also, we can change the game album picture from here, but for now, we can just click Save App List button. This will create the game title on our Steam OS interface. Now we can just close Emu Deck and return to the Steam Deck gaming mode. After we get into the Steam Deck gaming mode, just go to the library. We will see there are two new tabs show up. One is called Collection. Under this tab, it will classify emulation games by the emulation system. The other tab is called No Steam Game. Under this tab, you will see all the emulation games that have been installed on the Steam Deck. This is all for how to add the PSP games to our Steam Deck. Now it's time to set up the controller, optimize the emulator, and learn some useful hot case in this section. Let's set up the controller first. To do this, we need to start up a PSP game from Steam Deck gaming mode. Then press the Steam button and select controller settings. Press button A, then select current layout and press button A again. From here, we need to pick EmuDeck PPSSPP standalone template. Press button A to confirm your selection. Remember to press button X to apply the controller layout change. Now we should see the current layout template show as EmuDeck PPSSPP standalone. This means the Steam Deck controller setup is good and it is ready to use. We can now press the button B back to the game. Once we have the controller set up correctly, now we can make some quick settings to get the best performance and visual effect on the PSP games. We can press the Steam button first, then press down the D-pad left button. This will bring up the quick menu. From here, go to settings, then we need to set the rendering resolution to 3 times PSP. This will make the PSP games look way better on Steam Deck than the original PSP. Then we need to make sure the full screen box is checked here. Next, press button B back to the previous setting page and go to display layout and effects. Then check the box after the stretch, which removes the black bar at the top at the bottom of the screen. The game will be stretched a little bit for sure, but I personally like doing it this way. It just feels more visual on the deck. This is all for the emulator optimization. Now let's look at the hot case. If we touch the left trackpad, it will bring up the radio menu. From here, we can reach the quick menu, save states, load states, next save slot, and fast forward. This is pretty handy to use during gaming. That's pretty much all for this chapter. In this chapter, I will guide you step by step on how to use cheat with PPSPP. 
This method will work for Windows PC, Linux, and Mac. First, make sure you have already opened the PPSSPP emulator at least once before. If you haven't done this, just open the PPSSPP from Steam Deck desktop mode and then close it. Next, we need to use Internet Browser and download the cheat file. The download link is available under the video description. So go to the GitHub website and download the cheat file from here. The file we downloaded is a zip file, so first we have to extract the file. Then open the extracted folder and copy this db extension cheat file. Then we need to enable show hidden files in the Dolphin. And go to the location as show on the screen and paste the cheat db file to this location. Please double check and make sure the cheat db extension file is pasted into this location. After this, we can close the Dolphin and run the PPSSPP from desktop mode again. Click Settings, then go to System and make sure Enable Cheats box is checked here. After this, we can now close the emulator and return back to the Steam Deck gaming mode. Now we can launch a game from Steam Deck Gaming Mode once we get into the game and press the Steam button at the left on the D-pad to open up the Quick Menu, then select Cheats. Click Import from Cheat DB. Now we should see all the Cheats options on the right side. Our Enable Unlimited Health and Infinity Red Ops. Then I go back to the game, we will see the Infinity Ops here and my health is unlimited too. So the cheat is working perfectly. Let's test it out with another game. This game is Resistance Retribution. I will check Infinity Elmo and Infinity Health under cheats. As we can see now I have Infinity Elmo here. Also I will stay in full health forever in this game. This cheat method will work with all systems like Windows PC, Linux, Mac and even Android. All you need to do is to put that cheat db extension file into the correct folder. So that's pretty much all for this section. We can convert the ISO game ROMs to CSO format, so we can save some space on the hard drive. This process can only be done on a Windows PC. Here is my Windows PC screen. I have installed the software called PSP ISO Compressor on my PC. I will link the software download under this video description so you can download and install this software on your PC. Then we can run the software. On the left side, we need to select Compress ISO to CSO. Then all we need to do is to change the input file location to where your PSP ISO ROMs are stored. The output location will be set to the same location as input. The compression level will be set to 9. Then click Compress to start the process. It will take about 2 minutes. After it is done, you will see a new CSO format ROM show up in the same folder as your input ISO game. This is pretty easy, that's all.